Okay, let's see if we can understand functions in about seven minutes. And that's always my target uh, goal with my videos here, is to try to teach you something in about seven minutes. Sometimes, uh, very often, I go a little bit over. But in a short period of time, if you stick with me, you're going to learn a lot about functions. If you're struggling in this topic, uh, don't feel bad. A lot of students uh, struggle with functions. It's a huge topic in mathematics, and it's extremely important that you understand it. So really the main goal uh, for this video is just to get you to strengthen your fundamental understanding of what a function is. So that's kind of the objective here. But before we get going, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabba Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and I have many online math courses. I teach fun uh, functions very in-depth in several of my courses, but I'm going to suggest that you check out my um, algebra course, really get into uh, functions uh, heavily there. I'm going to leave the link to that in uh, the description of this video if you want to learn more, really master functions. But let's get into functions now. So here's an example of what a function looks like. So there's all types of functions. Again, it's a huge topic in mathematics, but when you see a little notation like this, that indicates some sort of function. Now this, the way we state this or read this is f of x. Okay, this is the name of this function. And any function, like so, f of x is equal to the variable y. All right, so you can think of this is the function 3x squared plus 1, but it's equivalent to the equation 3x squared plus 1. Okay, so it's a little uh, technical difference there, but equations, okay, like this is a quadratic equation, and we would refer to this as a quadratic function, okay? Again, we say this is uh, as f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 1, but we could have all kinds of functions. For example, we could have something like this. That would be g of x. That's the way we would state that. If I had this, h of t, I would write it that way. So again, in mathematics, all sorts of functions, but this is a real basic example to kind of stress what I want to um, teach you here. Okay, now, what is a function? Um, well, a function is basically some sort of rule, okay? A rule in the sense that we're going to input values into the function, all right? And then we have some sort of rule, okay? Now, the rule basically says, okay, take your input values. The rule says do something uh, with that value, like manipulate it in some way, okay? And when we're done with that, we're going to get some sort of output value, okay? Now, the input value in, uh, into a function, we're going to call this the domain, all right? So this word here. So all the numbers that we can put into a function is called the domain, and then the respective output values is called the range, okay? So really important words. Again, um, depending on where you're at, with functions, you're going to study uh, the domain and range uh, at a much more advanced level. Again, functions are a huge topic, but let's just make sure you get the, um, the basics down uh, in this video. Okay, so let me go ahead and erase this. All right, so we have the input, which is the domain, all the set of values that you're allowed to put into a function. It's called the domain. Okay, it's going to be associated with the x variable. Let's go ahead and, and establish that. And then the output is going to be associated with the y variable, right? You'll see that here in a second, what I'm talking about. Let's look at an example of how to evaluate a function. So let's go ahead and figure out what this function's value is at 2. So that means I want to evaluate, that's how we would state that, this function, we want to find f of 2. Okay, so here again is the input. So you can see I'm replacing this x with a 2. So over here in the rule part, I'm going to replace this x with whatever value I plugged in for this x here. Okay, of course, this is going to be 2 squared plus 1. So now, at this point, I can go ahead and evaluate or finish evaluating this function by just being very careful. You know, all of you out there are experts in order of operations. So you've got to be careful here because this is a common, mistakes, uh, common mistake where students um, make errors is... Uh, They'll go, oh, 3 times 2, that's 6, and they square that. Remember, you've got to be very careful with the order of operations. This is going to be 2 squared, so that's going to be 4. 3 times 4 plus 1, which, of course, is going to be 
12 plus 1 or 13. Okay, so we have f of 2 was equal to 13. Now, again, let's go ahead and take a look at this function in a different way. I want to um, really stress something here. So when we had the x, when we had x equal to 2, our y value is 13. Now, why is it the y value? Remember, I said y is the same thing as f of x. So our f of x, our output, was 13, but you want to associate that with y. Okay, so whatever your y value um, here, let's just say y was 13, and one x was 2. Okay, so you can construct a table like so, 2, 13, but this corresponds to the ordered pair or point on the xy axis, 2, 13. That's a point, okay? And let's do it over here, okay? So I have an x, I have a y. Let me erase this. So the point 2, 13, 1, 2, let's say it's up here. 2, 13 is on this function here, okay, graphically speaking. So we can look at functions in a variety of different ways. We can look at them at, uh, in terms of their table, okay, how they're represented, or sets of points, or algebraically by their actual function rule. So this particular function happens to be a parabola, so it's going to start at 1. It's going to look something like so, okay? And all the points that are on this graph, all right, are part of the domain and range, okay? Now, I don't want to go ahead and start taking this um, topic, you know, beyond 7 minutes. I'm probably <laughs> already seven, beyond 7 minutes right now because, again, Functions are a huge, huge part of mathematics. But before I uh, end the video, let's talk about some other follow-on things that you're going to be um, learning with respect to functions, okay? And each one of these are really important. So first of all, you just have to understand what a function is, okay? And oftentimes, functions, let's just do this real quick, okay? We have something in math called relations, okay? And a subset of relations are functions, okay? So all functions are relations, but not all relations are functions, okay? So one of the things that you need to understand about functions is uh, knowing how to determine when you're dealing with a function or uh, when so if, if something is a function or not. Let me state it that way. That's a big part of what you should be um, uh, learning in your math course. Another thing is function operations. So if I have two functions, let's say I have f of x is something and I have g of x is something else, well, you can manipulate functions. You can add them. You can uh, multiply them. You can do all kinds of stuff. You can do what we call a composite function. All right, so f of, or g of f of x. You can do all sorts of stuff. You can also find function inverse, all right, which is going to be another huge topic. So, again, many, many facets of functions. That's why, um, you know, it doesn't make sense for me to try to squeeze this in. In seven minutes, that would just be, uh, I don't even know if I could do it. But what I wanted to do was to stress the fundamentals of what a function is. And even, you know, I could have even taken more of my time to do that. But let's go on and wrap up this video. Hopefully this kind of um, was a good little refresher for you. Um, again, uh, at this time, I've been on YouTube for a good 12 years. I have literally hundreds and hundreds of math videos posted all the time. So hopefully you consider subscribing. If you like this video, definitely appreciate a thumbs up and leave me some feedback. Um, you know, uh, obviously, you're interested in functions. What math course are you taking? Algebra, Algebra 2, College Algebra. It's taught at many uh, levels, uh, even in calculus, pre-calculus. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so any feedback is good feedback. And uh, I'm going to leave a link to my Algebra course in the description of this video. Now, I teach... Uh, functions thoroughly in my all my algebra courses. So um, if you're in another course like Algebra 2 or something different, you can uh, uh, check out my course catalog and you can kind of go to that particular course. But if you want to know, you know, everything I was talking about with functions, you can definitely find it in my algebra course. But uh, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics journey and have a great day.